back to the basic, just picking the basic diamond. Tell us about the four C's. You were you were saying color, cut, carrots. And okay, the the four C's. Um, okay, the four the four C's. The basic concept of diamonds. It's how you find the value of a diamond. Uh, the first C is the carrot, which is the weight. Technically, one carrot is equal to 0 0.2 gram. So one gram is five carrots. Okay. This is the scale. Clarity, which is the amount of inclusions within a stone. Okay. Inclusions are not usually natural inclusion. Residues of carbon during the formation of the diamond can be white, black. Um, they can be um, treatments, for example, because some stones uh, are subject to some treatments, which they try to remove the inclusion, but you can still see the hole. We're trying to remove the. Uh, so it starts with flawless, which is look clean, and then goes down to VDS1, which is very, very small inclusion one, and VDS2, which is very, very small inclusion two, and BS1, BS2. SI1, which is small inclusions one, and PK, which is a black inclusion that you can see with the naked eye. Lately, I wouldn't advise anybody to buy a flawless stone, and I wouldn't advise to go down to a BS2. Because of the resale, because of the ability to sell, you mean? Yes. Afterwards. Um, although so a lot of people buy BS2, I personally don't like it because at this point the inclusion becomes pretty much too visible. It becomes a black dot in the middle. And it's easy to see without the, the lens. Well, for a diamond grader like me, it's easy to see. No, it's it's very easy. Like average, average people wouldn't. No, they wouldn't see it. When it comes to the color, there is a there is a color scale which starts with D, which is exceptionally uh, exceptional white plus, which is very white, mm -hmm. and then goes down to Z. Right. You don't ask him why it starts with D. D E F H I G. G H I sorry. Then why does it start with D? It's from the diamonds. They started with Z. <laughs> no, because they thought that maybe they found something whiter, so they had to leave some space ah, on the scale. Ah, eventually, okay. white and Z is very, very white. Z is extremely white. Here in Egypt, we mainly sell H color, which is white. Uh, we have some some cases which people prefer to have some G color, uh, and some other people want I color, so okay. it's G H I. This is the ver difference between H and I. There is a difference, but it's not a very. Oh, I don't really know. Yeah, really this is why it's Yeah. A very big part of the price of the stone is in the cut. The well cut diamond is important for two reasons. Because the diamond um, is based. Okay, how can I say it? No. The shine of the diamond is based on two things it's based on the reflection and the refraction. The reflection is when the light comes on the surface of the stone and bounces back. Yeah. And the refraction is when the stone go the light goes inside and bounces out and gives you the rainbow. So this gives you the fire. When a stone is well cut, you have all the light that comes up from the stone right. comes all the way out from the top, which okay. is the part which you usually look in the diamond. Right. So that's where you want all the light coming up. If a stone is not well cut, you find the light that bounces in and goes from the from the side, from behind, so okay. you don't want that. Right. So having a really well cut diamond is very, very important. X budget. And would you rather mustard and put the the weight on the the carrots or the weight on or clarity, yeah, clarity, for example, clarity or, or, or cut or color or like what? Well, would, I always, where advi the, where would I you put I always advise to to get f either very good or excellent cut finish and symmetry in a diamond. So keeping this set, right. uh, what are the things that you see as soon as you look at the diamond? The size. First thing you see the size, second the color. The color, right. yeah. So size and color. This is the thing. So clarity is the least thing you see. Because right. I wouldn't know if it's a flawless diamond or if it's a VS2 unless I take a loop and look at it. And unless I look at it under a certain lamp light and with my loop and yeah. I wouldn't be able to do the clarity of a diamond if I'm standing somewhere else.